welcome to the third week of the online course. This week will be dedicated to the main challenges of regulating hate speech across Europe. You started the week with the question what are human rights and why are they important in, co in countering hate speech. And then you moved on to look at the history and evolution of human rights over the time. You also looked at how human rights can be protected and claimed. Now let's explore further how a specific right the right of freedom of expression poses a challenge in regulating hate speech. Freedom of expression is a fundamental human right as defined as in the Article 10 of the European Convention on Human Rights. This right is present in several legally binding human rights instruments. We can trace the origin of the need to limit freedom and the harm principle. Freedom can be legitimately limited if an expression or an act harms others. In 1859, the English philosopher John Stuart Mill argued in his text on liberty that the only purpose for which power can be rightfully exercised over any member of a civilized community against his will is to prevent harm to others. This principle has influenced the legal definition of hate speech and the justification to limit freedom of expression when it incites discrimination and violence against others. The definition of hate speech has been problematic, particularly when it comes to determine which targeted groups are mentioned in the definition. In other words, who says what? We have already seen when we talked about the criteria to assess hate speech that legislation varies in each country. In many cases, attempting to regulate hate speech is often criticized as it would put a limit to freedom of expression and, in more extreme cases, encourage censorship. For example, in a number of countries in Europe, the laws on hate speech have been used as justification to censor journalists, activists and organizations. But while the European Convention on Human Rights requires full respect for freedom of expression, it also clearly states that this right implies duties and responsibilities. For example, the duty to ensure the protection of the reputation or rights of others. Freedom of expression is therefore not an absolute right. It is closely linked to other rights. For example, the right to equality between women and men, which is also a fundamental right in any true democracy. So, insulting women cannot be seen as freedom of expression because it puts their dignity into question. So, one of the key challenges in fighting hate speech is to get the right balance between respecting freedom of expression while protecting other rights which may be violated. Hate speech can be reported and be subject to sanctions depending on the existing legislation. Yet, hate speech also needs to be understood as a danger for our societies and democracies. Its roots, unequal power relations, need to be addressed and not only the symptoms such as negative stereotypes.